I recommend watching my video on elemental reactions before watching this video, as I will be using elemental reactions based primarily on electro damage in order to try to get uh, nine stars in the fourth floor of, of Spiral Abyss. So I will be using Bennett, uh, Zinian, Peking, and Barbara, or not Barbara, because the result of water in this floor, so she won't be able to do any damage. I will go with this team, Diana will be the last character, and we will be using a lot of electro reactions like overloaded and electrocharged to try to get all the stars. Since they get buffed in this floor. Didn't want to stop. I'm going back to chatting. That was stupid. I'm having too much trouble on the first floor, on the first chamber of this floor, and I keep missing the three stars. There's somewhere that I waste time. Although I have already gotten three stars with weaker characters. So I don't know. But anyway, the key is to showcase the elemental reactions and the elemental mastery. I think I just need to make my checking a bit stronger to consistently finish this floor. So. It does a lot of damage. But here we need to focus on defending this thing. Otherwise, the damage does not matter. And I'm not doing a great job.
You see, I keep switching to perform the elemental reactions all the time. And since we're going to be doing a lot of elemental reactions, elemental master should be a charm here. So this is it, a ton of elemental reactions. I think this is a pretty good team, a pretty good team for this floor, although I didn't get nine stars, but that's probably my own gameplay's fault. So to have an idea of how I built this team, I'm using the Lion's Roar on Bennett because it does more damage against viral electro affected opponents. I use a two-piece instructor set and a two-piece exile set to have both elemental master and energy recharge. My Xenon is built based on attack and critical rating because I mostly do physical damage with her. And I use Rebellious Guardian because I don't have a better weapon for her. My Keqing is my favorite character. She has Lion's Roar too, but I have not built her properly. I don't like this setup. I want to add Elemental Mastery or maybe Attack. I don't like having critical rating and not having a boost to her attack. So that needs work. I will experiment with her. I'm not even sure that I want to use her Elemental burst so much. And finally, Diona, which I didn't use much. She is based on energy recharge and her bow just is, does more damage on criticals. Oh, not more damage. It generates more elemental particles, so she uses her special a lot, although we didn't use a lot of her bow anyway. So I hope this gives you an idea of what kind of elemental reactions you need to perform to maximize your damage. Here we did a lot of overloaded and some superconduct or electrocharge for the water-based guys. And I think that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps as a guide to do Spiral Abyss Floor 4. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Also, a, sub, uh, a subscription to my channel would be awesome. Thanks for watching.